Hello, um, I've decided to make a response video for Ariel, Ariel's excellent thread on twi Twitter um, going into the free and open source, uh, I would say, gap between the, the free software design space, both tooling and uh, capacity for design, and the needs of um, you know your working designer in the real world. Um, I I basically mostly agree with the thread as as it's set out. Um, I don't think it goes far enough in explaining um, some of the biggest cultural differences that are going to need to be dealt with in order to get. Uh, let's say let's say there's, there's an end goal, right? The there's, the end goal for free sort software is that all uh, people who want to use a computer to do a, to do work get to own the so software that they use. Fundamentally, they have full freedoms, and within that sort of software, there is all of the functionality that they need uh, to do their work effectively. Right, the best tool, but it's also the free tool. Um, one of the problems that we have had, as most free sort of software projects have, is the fact that it is very difficult to serve users, in this case designers, with the tools that they need uh, without the resources to be able to commit to producing those tools. And culturally speaking, free software does not work in the same way that a proprietary tool works. Um, in fact, I would go, go so far as to say economically it does not work in the same way. The, the, the reason for this is because um, everything that has been made so far has already had investors that have worked on the code. Uh, it's already had all of the money and time and everything else spent on it. And that's why it's available for free. Right? You can download it for nothing. But everything that will happen in the future, all of the improvements that you need, uh, whether it's speed or compatibility or, or like literal tooling improvements, that needs resources and it needs a lot of resources. And unfortunately, the, the, the kind of prisoner's dilemma that we've got ourselves stuck in is between uh, commercial suppliers who um, pattern themselves on the idea of apples on a shelf, you know, that you buy a thing and then, you know, they've clearly invested money pri previously into, into that thing. And then they recoup that m m money by selling you, you know, licenses. Um, and in the free software, software world, we simply can't do that. Uh, it's structurally unsound. Uh, and so the only real way that, of tackling this problem is by changing the very na nature of the agreement between the user and the developer. Um, the user must take responsibility for their software, right? If they have no money, if they literally have no re resources, then using what already exists to get as much done as they possibly can is completely fine. But if you are, if you if you depend on design software and software for your job, uh, then it it really is your responsibility to make sure that you are either programming yourself, which is very unlikely for the vast majority of users, or you are contributing something to the development of those of these tools, right? I mean, it could be that you honestly believe that the tool is perfectly finished, like, and there's absolutely nothing that could be done to improve it, and there's absolutely no risks in the future of it having any sort of problems. Uh, but that's just that's just unrealistic, right? These pro projects need maintenance; they need a future, and that future depends upon users stepping up and taking responsibility. Now, culturally, users are not really trained, should we say, in like how to approach a uh, software in order to approach software pro projects where they themselves are effectively involved, right? They're not they're not um, standing at the side sidelines they are they have to be kind of active um, and this is why it's so, it's so culturally hard to raise funds uh, most pe people are not uh, you know th they don't understand how to do these tasks um, they don't understand how to uh, involve themselves in projects and to be quite honest we in the free software world do not make this easy right we have never made it easy for users to get involved um, whether it's involving their time, right, as designers coming into a project and actually trying to help uh, design the pro projects, or whether it's um, actually paying developers, right, getting developers involved 
uh, by like bringing all of the little bits of money to together and fund from funding them. Um, I think it's just going to be a long path to find out what mechanisms work in the free software world that can produce the desired outcome. Right, the desired outcome is um, designers give programmers money. Programmers give designers tools that do the work, that do the job, right? And in within that whole system, there is a, a, a explicit agreement that the software tools will always be free sources and software, and will never strip the free freedoms away from 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 the user, right? If we can produce a system that do, does that, I don't actually care what kind of system it is, uh, but we need to keep on trying. We need to keep on trying to find the system that allows. Uh, designers to pay programmers and programmers to serve designers. Um, thank you for, for listening to this longer uh, reply.